Hi guys! So today I will show you how you can make your very own soap and the soap I'm making today is a scented soap and it smells so nice. I'm so sorry if you hear like a lot of noises in between because right now it's old year's morning and a lot of people have fireworks and my father is busy outside with a tractor so all the things for this tutorial i got from baldwin and co i will put the link to the shelf below make sure to check it out because they have like such nice packages and they ship it really nice as you can see it looks very festive and nice and also they have like the complete package of everything you need to make so and they also have a lot of scents in their shop which you can add to your shop so this will be perfect for soap making i hope you enjoyed this video and let's get started in the box is a paper which has some clear instructions on it it tells you completely how you can make the soap so right now i'll just tell you what you need clear soap so you can make like a transparent soap with um, nice petals in it but you can also um, make a white soap it's just what you like then you will also need something to melt your soap so i will just take like a little box or something and put it in a microwave you can also use a saucepan and put it on fire it's just what you like then of course you should have some essential oils because you cannot make soap that doesn't smell nice, of course. So in a package were these two, and this one is the tea tree oil, and this is the lavender oil. And I got two extra ones. It says that they are harmonizing bath oils, but you can use them in the soap as well as in bath. It's the same for these ones. So when you've made your soap, you can actually use this um, in your bath to smell really nice. So I think that's really nice because you can only make the soap like once and then you wash it and it's gone and you're left with your oil so i think it's perfect that you can also use them in your bath you will need some petals these are lavender and rose petals and you'll see later where we need them for so they will need a soap mold this is the soap mold i will be using it was in the package and it says baldwins.co.uk because there i got it from and it has space for six soaps so in this package is also this and i will put it on right now from the shop i also got two tote bags and they're just this one which says baldwins and co and i also got this one puka it says incredible organic herbs and this one is actually really really thick and it has this nice pattern of two people like jumping out of flowers and everything i really like it and you can use it to give your soaps to someone and i just really like this bag i just want to tell you in the end of this video it will be a little giveaway so if you would like to join the giveaway please keep on watching till the end because you'll like it so there are two packages like the white and the clear soap and i'm going to use the clear soap because i like to make clear soap right now they are packaged in packs of 500 grams and each soap is like 150 grams so with this package you can make three and with this package you can make three as well and you have like the shape of six soaps so i'm just going to cut this and i'm going to put it into the saucepan so now i'll be putting the saucepan on fire So now our whole soap is fluid and cooked. We will be taking our essential oils and we'll putting them in. And you should aim for about 2% essential oils and 98% soap. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm first putting in this lavender oil. And after I put that in, I'm just going to go through it with my spoon. Then I will be putting in the tea tree oil and i'm just putting in a little little bit of this one because i don't want my soap to smell heavenly like tea tree oil then i will be taking this harmonizing bath oil and i will put in some of this one i'm just going to go through it a little bit so we go to the petals right now and i'm using these rose petals and these lavender petals and they smell a little bit but they mainly make your soap just look really nice 
but you don't want to overdo it please don't overdo it because then it won't look nice again i'm also putting in some of the lavender ones take this soap mold. So for this step you'll just need some vegetable oil and a brush. I'm just greasing around in this because otherwise you won't get them out in the end and that's not good. I stopped greasing around and I'm just going to pour in the soap mold. I'm just making sure everything is equally divided. So like I thought, I have a little bit of soap mold left, but it's just a tiny little bit. So you can either decide to put it in here and get like a little bottom of like the fluid one. Or you can decide to just leave it that way. But I decided to leave it that way because I'm going to make the other one as well. So once you've done this with both your white and your transparent soap mold, um, you want to leave it in the mold shape for about 24 hours on room temperature. Once they are completely finished, you should just press them out of your soap mold and you'll have your soaps. And once you get your soaps out of the mold, you can do anything you like with them. You can give them as gifts, uh, you can wrap them in gift paper or in tissue paper, you know, like this nice paper and you can give it to someone, it will be very nice as a present because you can really make it personal because you add all these sands and petals of your taste it also requires some work so you really did something for that person I think that means a lot of course you can also keep that yourself I would love to keep a few of these soaps myself because I love soap and petals in it really give a little bit of a scrub to your hands as well which makes your hands feel really soft while um, washing your hands with soap so they're clean, they smell nice and I think it's just so nice to make your own soap because it's just, you know, when you, when you once don't have a lot to do or uh, you want to do something nice with your friends, you can make soap and it's just really nice. I really like to do this video. I hope you like this as well and let's go to the giveaway. So for the giveaway, you will be getting one transparent soap well it's not really transparent there are a lot of petals in it but it looks really cool and it's so delicious i think and you will also be getting a white soap the winner of the giveaway will also get two tote bags they're really cool and i love tote bags so much for shopping they're so handy and you just can grab everything out of it or for maybe physical education in your school i don't know but I just really like them. So the first one is this one. And then another tote bag you'll be getting is this one. This one is like a very strong tote bag. So you're getting both tote bags and two of these soaps I make. I'll put some nice wrapping paper around the soap molds. And then I will send them to you. It doesn't matter where you live, you can enter. So right now you can see like the end results of the soaps and you'll be getting this one and this one so I hope you like it if you would like to join for a chance for this giveaway first give this video a thumbs up to subscribe to this channel blog fashion on that on YouTube and leave a comment below and tell me what's your favorite scent for soap I hope you like this video that it was learnful and that you're just as excited as I am to make your own soap right now and I'll see you next time